Good evening and a warm welcome to all you wonderful people out there. I welcome each and every one of you all to my talk show, Tete Tete at Subi's Power Meet in collaboration with Brand You Here. Well, today I am extremely elated and extremely excited because our guest who's there this evening with us is none other than the great, the one and only Vikash Mittersen, who's the chairman and managing director of Nazara Technologies. And it's truly, sir, an honor to have you on my talk show. Well, <laughs> so, with, yeah, so with a big round of applause, we welcome you, sir. <laughs> Thank you once again for being here this evening with us. So without much ado, I'd like to form introduce serves to all you wonderful people. So uh, Vikash Mittasen, Chairman and Managing Director, Nazara Technologies, a founder and president of uh, India Business Group, Chamber of Commerce, and of course he is the uh, Honorary Consul of Republic of Mali, is on the advisory board of Dr. ABJ Abdul Kalam Center Lucknow, and he's a uh, Rotary Club member, a TEDx speaker, he's an author. His books, You CEO, uh, uh, is, is, is uh, one of its kind. And uh, uh, I don't know if uh, all of you all know, but he's also a radio jockey, <laughs> and he's got a wonderful show which is called Chulo Asaman. So, sir, oh, we really, really are, uh, want to know so much from you today. And uh, uh, we're going to get to know a lot about your journey uh, through this tete a -tete that we are going to have with you. So, with your kind permission, maybe start, sir, our talk. Yes, please, go ahead. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> Anytime, sir. It was, in fact, it's our uh, very much our uh, honor to have you on board today. So, uh, being a multifaceted personality uh, like you, sir, I've always been very intrigued, you know, by your surname, <laughs> Mittersen. You know, it's it sounds more Deutsch, you know, German uh, yes. than uh, anything else. A lot of people else. tell me that. <laughs> so uh, tell us, uh, where where does your clan hail from? Where where are you originally from? And tell us a little about it. First, let me tell you about the name itself. Yes. <laughs> so there is a twist in the tale here. Okay. My surname used to be Vikash Jain. Jain. Okay. Okay. My grandfather's first name was Mithasen. Mithasen oh. Jain. Okay. I have nothing against Jains, but there are so <laughs> many Jains around. There was no identity there. Right. So what right. I did was that I officially adopted my grandfather's first name. Into a surname. Oh, so that became Vikash Mithasen. Mithasen, yes. <laughs> Lovely, sir. Fantastic. Fantastic. And so, are you originally from? Uh, from Haryana. From Haryana. Okay. Haryana, then Delhi. The family okay. kept on moving and right. finally came to Bombay and settled here. Yes, absolutely. So, so you, you, you've always been into the textile business and uh, a, what did you know? You know, how did you manage to uh, diversify? So it was almost a forced situation. In those days, textiles was in very bad shape. Ultimately, we had a textile mill at Sangli. Right. Ultimately, there was a lot. And then there was the Tata Saman period, if you remember. If you were too yes. Young, yes. But uh, so he was shutting down all the mills, labor strike. Correct. Correct, correct. He had come to Sangli also and he got our mill shut down. But you know, right. these are all machineries. Right. If they shut down for a year, then it becomes very difficult both financially and mechanically to restart. So the mill shut down eventually. Mm -hmm. right. By that time, uh, we are already into IT software. Right. Okay. And we moved that a little bit into Nazara Technologies. Right. Had become a, a website which covered right. many things. Right. Then 
then the 2002 crash came along and revenues were non existent right. so the only place where i could see any revenue was gaming we had in the portal we had one thing which was games right so we focused right. back into the games right and you know for information right. at that time there were no mobile gaming available no <laughs> games on mobile they were all online or on the right. computer right so vodafone wanted games Right. So they started sending their tech guys to our office right. to teach us how right. to do mobile games. Right, right. That's the way Nazara Technologies came into mobile gaming. Wow. And today, Nazara Technologies has taken, uh, it had this name, had this, this entire company, this has gone on the world map and has taken India to the world map, you know. Oh, so complete, yes, no completely salute you, sir. Completely salute you, you, you and we your. Were, we were very lucky also. <laughs> and your wonderful son, too. Yes. So, uh, so really would want to know, you know, uh, uh, the, the the little that I've got to know about you over a, a period of time, you know, I, I know that you're a, you're an amazing dad uh, uh, to both you, both your children, and uh, uh, how you know uh, uh, you, your son uh, with the ZX Spectrum thing started, and then he started coding, and you know, but uh, uh, and uh, it, it, it's it's wonderful how you gave him a, a complete free hand, you know, or yes. normally. Yeah, yes. So uh, I, I really would like you to tell the viewers, you know, that how uh, important it is, you know, today to give your children a free hand, especially in the business yes. too. Yeah. Especially people like us, you know, we Marwadis. I'm not disparaging them, <laughs> not disparaging them, but no, no. <laughs> our, our outlook is very conservative. Right. It's a culture. Right. So right. we would. We just want our children to come and step into the father's shoes. Right, right. But I don't right. think it's the right thing. Right. No, every right. son doesn't have the same inclination as the right. father. They have their right. own ideas, even when they're very young. Right. They aspire to be something else than what the father has been doing. Correct. We were, Absolutely. I was in textiles. He was right. showing inclination towards computers. Right. And I bought him a ZX Spectrum. spectrum I don't remember yeah. whether he was seven or thirteen then. Right. He was pretty young, right. and it was it was an expensive machine then. Yes, he said, you know yes. that yeah, this guy has this inclination. I must do whatever is necessary to bring that right. out. Right, and right. Even look back after that. Right. So right. within a year, right. there used to be big books which used to arrive by post right. from USA and Europe. Right. They were all right. tech books. So he used to order them out on my credit card. <laughs> I, used to, I, I used to know it only when the book arrived. Or the bill arrived. Whichever came to us. Wonderful. So that's, the way, but, that's the way this journey yeah. began. Yeah. So and, and it's such a wonderful rapport that you share that you know yes, uh, I think it is so, it's so important when uh, children know that their parents are there for them and in whatever yeah, yeah. they do I think whatever. the foundation is so strong the basis is so strong and that yeah. takes them to the heights and they can totally fly just yes. the way uh, no those problem. are technologies yes. is. <laughs> yeah. parents parents should never curb their children yes because yes. they are from a different era correct children yes. Right. Parents don't understand what they like or not, or right. what they like to do or not. We should right. not interfere. We should not think that we are the only guys who have brains or smarts. Correct, correct. They correct, want to do correct. something, just let them be men of the world. Right. Them do what they want. Right. <laughs> that's, that's wonderful. So uh, now, of course, your son has uh, taken over the reins and it's, it's the Zara Technologies has grown, you know. And as I said, you know, he's put India on the world map. So that, that, that's, that's wonderful, of course, with your backing. But was there ever a, a time where they, that, that, you know, he required uh, it, uh, some kind of funding and you supported with him or he went all the way throughout yeah. on his own? No, not that way. I'm still CMD of the company. Okay. And funding, all initial funding as needed was done by me. Okay. And then we and then we got uh, external funding. Right. In in uh, in terms of a Sequoia coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and they invested. Right. 
quite many years back i think then from there after the first yes. investment we never required yes. any more money yes yes so the company became profitable Yes, <laughs> the wonderful games that he has. I mean, children love it. Uh, you know, all based. You know, on uh, yeah. some of them based on the mythology, and some of them which are really, yeah, really right. interesting. Yes. Yes, totally. Yes, totally. So now getting to uh, India Business Group. Uh, I okay. think it's. It, I I love. Uh, the fact that uh, you know india business group is not only a, a, a networking group you know i like the more way you that. call it yeah much more than that and you also call it a chamber of commerce you know yes. so i think and that's the true yeah so so tell us more about it sir. just the way it's registered correct, are you correct. i have been an extrovert all my life till i am right i used to be member of several chambers right and then somebody from delhi offered me he was running something hmm. he insisted that i start the bombay chapter right i tried to do it but then he would you know control me continuously right. you can do this you can't do that so my son told me that you are going to lose your cool with this chap <laughs> why don't you start your own so yeah that's a brilliant idea yeah and that that's the way it is back we registered ibg as a right. chamber of commerce with charity right. commissioner and then you know i'll tell you a small story every time okay. i say some stories when we launched uh, ibg okay. i i did it at a party at the willingdon club launch i went to ask them that i need to do this 100 people will come they said no our minimum is 150 right. you got to pay for 150 people whether this many come or not so reluctantly right. i said yes And you know the numbers that arrived, five hundred and forty-two. That evening, the club, oh, wow. the club, the club ran out of booze. Food, I can imagine booze, food, everything. More, oh, everything. We gave them a number of one fifty minimum guarantee, and there were five, five fifty people. I guess it was. So a... After that, it it had its own life. You know, IBG yes. got its own. Life. Absolutely. In fact, uh, today you all have reached such wonderful numbers, and you all have got so many members on board, and uh, yes. everyone is you know, looking forward to the IBG meetings because there is so much more to it than just networking, you know. And uh, it's always yes, and it's all about getting more, more and more, more and more business yes. for everyone. For Where they will. Yes, for all the members and wherever they go. So the I think that's that's uh, so so brilliant, sir. So uh, you've been associated uh, with the consular core and uh, uh, wanted to know, you know, how your journey started with that. I, I always wanted to be a consular. <laughs> okay. So, but I had no help on that. I okay. used to just sort of you know connect with the embassies in Delhi, right. trying to see where where there is a need. Correct. And fin finally, one day, the Mali amb ambassador said, "Oh, is it? I'm coming to check you out." The next day, he flew to Bombay. <laughs> okay, okay. Came and sat with me for three days. Yes. And while going, he said, "Now you are the consul for Mali." <laughs> Brilliant. He, he, yes. He took Republic me to Mali. Okay. He introduced me to the minister. I think I visited seven ministers there over two or three days. A super. Yeah, he wanted me to also meet the president, but the president was traveling. Okay, okay, that's so, that's great. I'm a consul. I'm a consul. So, so uh, uh, being the consul of uh, Republic mm -hmm. of Mali, uh, sir, honorary consul of Republic of Mali, what do you see the the you know uh, the the future of Mali, and what do you see? Are there any such business opportunities available out there? In fact, I have just sent out a note recently across the board right. about Mali business, about the opportunities in Mali, right. and asking now there are three major basic industries there. Right. One is coal, the other is cotton, okay. and a few other items on which people can come and invest and put right. up industry. So now I started that journey, getting people to set up factories there. 
right, 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 right. Fantastic. So what a uh, amazing opportunity, you know, uh, because uh, thanks to the pandemic uh, and uh, thanks to the COVID, a uh, lot mm -hmm. of uh, it, uh, thanks to the pandemic, sir, and thanks to the COVID-19, you know, a lot of uh, uh, businesses have shut down. So this yes. is a new opening for people and uh, you never know uh, you know it, it could be a great future for them so yeah. everyone who's listening to this interview has heard uh, sir say what he has said so if you all are keen on starting anything in mali do go out and do connect with sir that's yeah. vikash mitter sensor he is available on all social media channels do that and if you cannot get through to him please do connect with me i will yeah. see to it that you get connected with sir yeah, <laughs> yeah. so uh, this is uh, 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 wanted to ask you you know uh, you you wear so many hats, uh, you know, uh, being an entrepreneur, uh, oh, an, uh, an avid networker and started. And of course, now uh, with the Consul Corps, you're a part of that. And, and, but you're also a, a, a speaker, a TEDx speaker, and of course, a radio jockey. <laughs> you have this wonderful like show. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you have this wonderful show called Chulo Asuman. I think it's a yes. wonderful name, you know, and uh, you know, interviewing various uh, business personalities. So, so tell us about that. So, I don't know how I get in got into radio, <laughs> but I was always keen. And they, gave me a, they gave me a Friday evening slot of one hour, and right. I could call anybody I wanted and interview them. Wow, <laughs> I've done I've done more than 100 such interviews. Oh, oh, yes, of course, right now it's suspended because of COVID. Right, but right. It, that has been a great journey also. Okay. In people and meet them, talk to them, talk about them, let right. them speak up. It's a journey right. by itself. Right. So you are a wonderful author. Uh, you've written some. Uh, amazing and interesting books. So, uh, which is a new book that you are writing uh, right now? Uh, and what is it about? Tell us if you could share that with us, please. Yes. No, no secrets around me. <laughs> so, two books were business books. Right. You, you, CEO, and you, right. the leader. Yes. The third, yes. the third book was little unusual, I do regular daily posts on Facebook okay. and, and it's never about where I've had my dinner or my drink. It's always about what's happening in the world and my views on that. Yes. So the first, the third book was that, my posts on Facebook. Yes. That was up to my posts on, of 2016-17. Right. But now another three years have gone. Right. So I'm writing the next my post on Facebook too. But okay. To, from 17 <laughs> to 20. That's, wow. that's under. Yeah. It should be published uh, end of January. Excellent, sir. Excellent. So that looking forward to it eagerly because uh, your books are always very, very interesting <laughs> and uh, a great read for everyone. So uh, we shall know about it as soon as uh, sir is going to do the launch. <laughs> and uh, uh, we are keenly looking forward to it. So, will, uh, yes, go ahead. Yeah, no, no, no. Please, please say. Please, sir. I was just mentioning that you will get the first complimentary copy. Oh! <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. It will be great, sir. And uh, oh, it will be an honor that when the day the book is going to be launched in, in that week, if we can yeah. have a small launch on my talk show again with you, it would yeah. I would be more than elated. I know. You hold up the book. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so, sir, now that we uh, 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 spoken about you as a radio jockey, as an entrepreneur, uh, as as a consul, you know, part of uh, the consul for as a consul, and, you know, and so, what is it that's left about Vikash Mitter saying that he wants to do yet? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. 
right <laughs> in the last two months of itself i've been thinking right so, next what or what right. next so i've done so many things right i couldn't really pinpoint anything but i've decided that next year is going to be dedicated to mali i'm a consul but i should do something about it correct so a lot of the time will go in getting business to mali excellent sir excellent yeah. sir resident of mali has invited me but uh, it's not time to travel yet i try right. yes 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 these days we have to be cautious uh, in fact i would no, say that we over cautious over cautious yes yes absolutely take uh, you, if you have to travel if it's really a requ uh, requirement a compulsion yeah, to travel yeah. Then, yeah. then only it, uh, uh, no, no. so i'm not going okay so okay so okay so that's good a long so, journey uh, yeah. right yes yes absolutely it's a couple of, uh, couple of hours by flight so it's it's a long uh -huh. journey not couple yeah. of hours Yes, thirteen <laughs> hours. Yeah, it was thirteen hours. Yes, that's right. <laughs> it's that that that's that's one thing which really puts me off, sir, is uh, uh, traveling to the states. It's the the number oh, of yeah. hours. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's similar to that. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's the thing. So, sir, uh, uh, you know, uh, coming to my my last few questions to you is that. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, what is your message, you know, to uh, the dads uh, who oppose their sons' ideas? You know, what is your message to them, and uh, what is your message to upcoming entrepreneurs? Okay, I'll answer the first one. Yes. I'll tell all the dads if you're mm -hmm. listening to me, follow me. Even before this, I told you about my daughter. Right. That once she just came out of the blue and said, "Dad, I've got." Uh, I've got the uh, entrance uh, into the LSE. Yes. Said, London School of Economics. Happen? London wow. School of Economics. Why did you do this? We don't send our daughters out like this. She said, "No, Dad, yeah. I have to go." I said, "Okay, yeah. you will go." So you know, yeah. you have to understand that the yes. kids of today have different ideas mm -hmm. from you. They grew up in a different era. Their right. education is different. Their right. world view is different. So don't right. try to step on their toes and stop right. them. Just let them fly. In right. fact, give them wings. Absolutely, sir. Absolutely, totally. And uh, what is your uh, message to the uh, upcoming entrepreneurs sir, and upcoming business? Sir? So there, are, there is one particular thing which I always say when I ask this question. Yes. Business. If you want to succeed in business. start and end by being totally honest it's an unusual thing that i'm saying but honest to everything that you do your work your employees your friends the people that you do business with you have to be more than honest even in some deal if you're losing something doesn't matter right. the honesty is what's going to take your company a long right. distance right. the rest right. everybody knows that business and they know what to do So there right. is nothing to teach in that, but right. this is a very basic, basic thing, yes. which is very necessary and which yes. will hold you up in your bad times. Absolutely, sir. Very well said. Uh, totally agree with you, sir. Uh, uh, nothing. I think that's one thing which is really required: transparency uh, with your client, and, uh, and your customers. So everything yeah. to do with yeah. honesty. Honesty. There are many yes. words. About yes it. yes 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 thank you so much uh, for the wonderful uh, talk that we've had for the wonderful chat chat we've had you've given us such wonderful insights uh, uh, we've had a whole lot of people joining us so i would quickly take their names we've got bharat jitani we've got shri brown we've got siddhi jadhav nandita puri ji thank you so much for joining we've got yusuf shake <laughs> uh we've got chita lagarwal and we've got yogesh ami and a whole lot more of people and they are all saying that uh, it's uh, amazing uh, to hear sir's story and they've they've uh, nandita puri ji also says that it's it's wonderful 
to hear from uh, Vikash Mitra Sen himself. <laughs> so that's great. That's wonderful. So uh, come, I can't believe it that the time has flown by and we've come oh, to a, the, 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 yeah. yes, to the end of our session. And uh, uh, lots more to ask you, lots more to discuss with you, lots more to talk with you. But uh, sir, we would really like to request you that we shall call you again on our show and oh, please yeah. do come sure. back again. <laughs> what more will I be able to say? I just laid my life. <laughs> Lovely. The wonderful anecdotes uh, uh, that you would share with us would, would, would some, it is something that will stay with us. Uh, just lovely stories that yeah. you would tell us yeah. will stay with us. <laughs> well, no, anytime, sir. Anytime. Yeah. It has been more that, as I said, it's my honor to have you on my talk show, and it's more than our pleasure. And uh, as I always say in every of my episodes, Stay safe and uh, be positive. And another thing which I always share with everyone around, anything, any problem that's worrying you within you, please yes. discuss it, it with your uh, inner circle, with your very good friends or yes. a, a friend who you trust or a family member who you trust. But don't yes. keep it bottled up within you because that's only going to harm your health. You never that's know right. what agree. problem... Yes, yes, sir. You yeah. never know the problem that you're facing. Somebody else may be facing the same problem. And uh, yes, or somebody yes. else may be having the solution which you don't know. Exactly, exactly, sir. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. So please do that. Please go and discuss with them. As you all heard, oh, Vikash sir's book is going to be launched very soon in Jan and we are all eagerly waiting for that book launch and uh, if you all want uh, to do business in Mali you know who you have to connect with the one and only Vikash Mitter Sen. <laughs> so sir's available on Facebook on LinkedIn, on all uh, social media handles. And uh, so do connect with him. It will be great. And if any of you young entrepreneurs want a lovely platform uh, to be a part of, which was not only going to be your normal, regular networking platform, it's going to give you much more than that. Then there is only one answer to it. That is IPG which stands for India Business Group, which was founded by none other than uh, Mr. Vikash Mitter Singh. So do connect and uh, on, on all the social media handles. And if, if they have any issue, you can connect through me also. I'm available on all social media handles too by my name, Dr. Sohani Mendonca. I would urge and request each of you all to go to my YouTube and please kindly like, share, subscribe, and comment as your feedback is indeed very valuable. So on this note, we shall say bye-bye to everyone. And once again, thank you so much, thank sir. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you again. And ha yeah, have a great evening and God bless everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you. <laughs> that was wonderful. Yes, sir. Thank you.